time to go back to school. So we're, let's see. It's seven something a.m. I've got a five hour drive or so because I live in Northern Colorado. And um, yeah, moving into my dorm this afternoon. I'm living in Placer. So I got some driving to do. I thought I might mention what I'm actually doing here. Um, for my the scholarship I have at South Dakota Mines, I have to normally write a letter uh, to the donors, um, and it's just a pretty generic thank you letter. And you know, if somebody's given me several thousand dollars to go to school with, I figure I might as well show a little more gratitude than uh, just writing a generic letter to somebody who doesn't know me at all and hasn't seen me do anything so my name's Tristan um, I'm a sophomore at South Dakota Mines uh, South Dakota School of Mines and Technology and basically I just want to say thank you to the donors and show them a little bit of what I get to do because I'm here on a scholarship and I can actually afford to go to school so that's a, it's a really cool opportunity and hopefully I get to take you along and show you some cool stuff that I get to do because of other people's generosity. We're coming up on an hour here. We're in the middle of Wyoming. We're making progress. Just outside Guernsey, pulling into a rest area because I have to go to the bathroom every freaking 45 minutes, of course, because I'm trying to drink water. But uh, staying hydrated is healthy, so I'm not, you know, it's all good. And uh, so, yeah, we'll, uh, I go through Guernsey instead of going up to uh, Torrington. Just because going through Torrington, you lose cell service, and sometimes in you know in the winter months when you're out in the cold, it's a little sketchy not having cell service for like 85 or 90 miles. And so usually I go this way, um, and then it also gives you options. So like if one of the roads is closed for snow or something in the winter, I can go the other way. One hour later. Five hours, 10 minutes from Fort Collins area in Colorado. So it's not too bad of a drive, but you know, I don't want to be doing it all the time. Uh, it's definitely a like two to three times a semester to go visit people. And that's as much as I would both want to be away from school and to make this drive because it's a bit, going through pretty much all of Wyoming is a little bit on the tedious side and you know South Dakota and Wyoming are very pretty places but a lot of it looks very similar until you get to the Black Hills so we survived though So back home, I ride mountain bikes a lot and I race them normally. This year we really didn't do much racing, but uh, normally that's pretty much what I do. I race cross country. Um, and uh, so I figured I'd show you a little bit more of what I do for fun. So I'm out with the mountain bike. 
stuffed in the back of the car. And we're just out at M Hill and we're gonna go ride. Somehow I made that. Finally got moved into the dorm room, so I'll show you around real quick and uh, you can see where we're living this year. This is my room. We're in a double. So this is my all my roommate's stuff, and then right here we've got my computer. Uh, pretty classy little setup right here. It's pretty nice and works well for both playing games with the boys as well as. Uh, working on SolidWorks, video editing, you know, anything that I want to do there, then I've got the computer horsepower to do in here, which is really important this year because the um, the computer lab where I'd normally go uh, to use, you know, computers that have some horsepower and can do some real, uh, some real work uh, is closed to any students not taking either FEA, so finite element analysis, which is a senior level course or things like that. Um, and I'm not in anything like that, but I still have to do lots of SOLIDWORKS for the Baja team. And I have to do a lot of things like that. So it's a good place for me to do that. I got my guitar amp over here and I'm probably gonna bring my bed down a little bit just cause it's a little hard to use for seating or anything when it's up that high. But we got all the things that really matter you know all the airborne stuff we got rally car jumping we got world war ii aircraft um really into aviation so i don't fly or anything but i've been ar around aviation for a really long time so we got gage here he's my roommate we've got a classic xbox setup up here all that um and big couch out front because it's plaster's pretty good. Getting our nutritious lunches in of pizza rolls today. Doing all this. And here we have Grant and Brandon. And uh, so Brandon's on the one of the esports teams for Rocket League. So he kicks our butt if we ever try and go up against him. And then Grant over here. Uh, he brought his wheel and pedal set up, and so we've been getting a lot of time in on the simulator running laps, and he does league races uh, for dirt track. So we have a lot of fun with that. Currently I'm working on some stuff for the Baja team. It's a little difficult at the moment with COVID. We can't work too much in the actual cat lab where we do all the physical building of our car and those sort of things. So I've been working here in my room on some stuff for the team. Right now we've got pretty much all of this stuff manufactured. We just need to put it all together. So the thing I'm working on currently is going to be right in here. This plate right there is a jig so we can put the frame up on the welding table. This jig will locate the rear diff 
the new gearbox that was a senior design project last year and that'll locate it so that we can uh, weld it into you know weld the mounting into place properly and make sure that that's all good to go um, you can see how that drive shaft moved through up to the front uh, up to the front differential um, and we've got everything here all set we just need to you know button up some of the few things that we got interrupted by last year and eventually it'll look something like this guy the car from that's the car from a couple of years ago uh, the 2018 car so we're switching to four wheel drive and it's a bit of a big undertaking but nothing that the team can't handle so yeah hopefully this has been a, a cool thing to show you for uh, where the money goes in terms of scholarships uh, pretty much all of us have a scholarship of some sort so we're all pretty thankful that you know somebody puts up money and all that sort of you know puts support into sending people to school and uh, we're really enjoying this year uh, even though with COVID and all those sort of things it's a little funky but uh, we've got a good setup and good support for each other so we're looking forward to this year and we'll see what's going on oh uh, I'm a mechanical engineer um, Grant's also a mechanical major and then Gage my close roommate is a chemical engineering major and then Brandon is a computer engineering major so we're all very STEM and very uh, very related in terms of what we like to do and what interests us yeah thanks for watching have a good one